Hello, welcome to the OJ Room channel. This time we are going to make an Amelia dress that can be on four seasons. First, draw a dart on the front part. And copy and draw the dart on the other side using a pin. When sewing darts, sew from the sideline. Then pull out the thread without sew it back. Tie the extra thread twice to complete the dart. This time, fold the seam allowance in the front center. At this time, I run with the dart facing down. Then, overlock the seam allowance. And next, to the front center up to the notch line. Leave the seam allowance as folded and show 0.8 cm. Iron it once to give it a pretty shape. Overlock the shoulders and side seams of the front and back and sew. Press the seam open with iron. This time, we will make a neckband. But first, we make a frill to attach to the neckband. Fold the fabric in half, turn it over, and sew both ends to form a strap. Make two rows of shearing inside and outside of 1cm at the bottom of the strap. I adjusted the tension and stitchy spacing as much as possible. For making the shearing, pull the thread long before sewing.
And now we are going to make a strap attached to the neck band. If you have a ribbon or a string, you can use it. After sewing, cut the seam allowance to be 0.5 cm. And turn the fabric over. I used a close pin to turn the fabric inside out. After ironing the strap, sew the edge stitch on the seam. Then I use a zigzag stitch for the ends of the strap. After tightly adjusting the size and spacing of the stitch, fold the seam allowance and make a zigzag stitch. Finally, we are going to sew the neckband. Adjust the length of the frill we made to the knotty line marked on the neckband. Sew the strap you made before attach the frill. And now we will sew a frill. Cut the remaining thread. Fold the bottom seam of the other side of the neck band and sew it. After sewing, cut the seam allowance of the curved part to be 0.5 cm. And if you turn it over, you can see the thread holding the shirring. Now remove it. So now, we will sew the neckband to the body. The neckband is sewn from the inside instead of the outside of the body.
draw the finished line inside the neckline. Then sew the neckband along the finished line and the notch. This is the look from the front. And now place the neckbands as the seam is folded. Fix it with a pin and make an edge stitch. If the seam allowance at the front is protruding, cut it to be 0.5 cm. Now, we will sew the sleeves. First, cut up 6 cm of the center of the lower part of the sleeve and then sew the bias tape. You can use the rest of the fabric or you can use your own bias tape. Place the opening in a straight line and sew with bias tape. Did you get this shape? Now fold it in half from the inside, draw a diagonal line and sew it.
adjust the tension and stitching to make a shearing on the upper and lower sleeves. Adjust the shearing length to join the sleeve cap and the sleeve. After sewing, remove the thread holding the string. And overlock the seam allowance. Paper sewing the side of the sleeves, iron them to give them a nice shape. Sew the sides of the sleeves, then overlock. This time we will make sleeve cups. Fold the bottom seam allowance of the cuff. And when sewing the side seams, sew the sleeve straps or ribbons to the side seams and sew them together. To make the cup shape pretty, fold the seam allowance and turn it over. If the corners are difficult to come out, use pins to clean the shape. As with the neckband sewing method, first sew the cuffs to the inside of the sleeves. It is much easier to sew if you adjust the shirring and fix it with a pin. After removing unnecessary thread, then make an edge stitch. It is helpful to use a point O or reaper when sewing.
Remove the thread that made the shearing visible from the outside. Now the body and sleeves are sewn together. Turn the body over so that you can see the inside. Put the sleeve in the armor, fix it with a pin according to the notch, and sew it. This is what the top part looks like. I think it would be good to wear it as a shirt by making it long. So we are going to make the top of the skirt. First, overlook the side lines. The pockets are also overlooked and then sewn together with a skirt size seam by 0.7 cm. And after putting the seam allowance toward the pocket, make an edge stitch. Put the front and back panels of the skirt together, fix them with pins, and sew 1 cm. Iron the side line. Sew with a zigzag stitch to make the pocket opening stronger. Now overlook the side seams of the middle and bottom skirt. So the size of the seam. Press the seam open. The bottom of the skirt hold the shearing on the upper hem and fold the hem to wise 
ensues. Police heard only the stirring at the top of the skirt middle plate. To show him, I first overlook, then fold it by that amount, and fold it again to sew. On the top of the skirt, make sure to draw the center of front and back knot marks, and then make sure in. Sew the skirt middle plate and bottom plate together. Pin the center of front and back and side line first with pins, and then sew according to the length. Now sew it together with a skirt top. Sew the skirt you made with the body. Finally, make a waist tunnel. Fold the seam allowance on both sides and sew. And fold the top and bottom seam. After ironing the skirt seam facing upward, sew the waist tunnel. Use a clothes pin to insert a string or a ribbon through the waist tunnel. Now, your beautiful Amelia dress is complete!